Welcome to the Mad Racetrack, racing for the annual Madison 500. We have a great race today with our returning champion, Scoots. Yes, it is his fifth year on the circuit, and he has been racing for over a decade, and it doesn't look like he's retiring anytime soon. Now, we have a fierce challenger going against him, the underdog. It is his first year in the, our competition, but he's in the running to become a champ. Hoover! The rookie looks ready to go. I left my notes in geometry. Can I run and get it real quick? Okay, but be quick. Thank you. I gotta get something out of the office. I'll be right back. Study till I get back. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Who was that woman? Our teacher. Where's Miss Fly? Oh, Dad, you got my lunch. Miss Fly, the woman on the scooter. Dad, I... Was that her? Yes, that is our theater teacher, Miss Fly. Who are you? I'm Maxine. Only her favorite student with a 99 average and her designated errand runner. Well, when did she say she'd get back? She's at the office. She'll be back in a few minutes. All right, thank you. No problem. We're going to stand here until she gets back. But I have class. Not today, you don't. Dad, what are you doing? I've never seen somebody go that fast on a scooter before. She could be a real racer. I thought you gave that life up years ago. That was before I found hope again. You know racing is my life. It's my passion. I could get that passion back. Oh, hello. Are you Hawkins' father? Yes, I am. Uh, well, you're a casting director, aren't you? My favorite part was Constantine. The help was fun too, but they cut my lines. Actually, ma'am, that's not what I'm here for. It's about your driving. Do you realize you have great potential as a racer? I never thought I'd be a racer. Sounds like fun. But I'm just a teacher. Sorry. Well, wait. Here's my car. Call me sometime. Did you talk to Hogan's dad earlier? Yes, I did. He asked me about becoming a racer. Really? What did you say? I said I'm a teacher first, so I declined. This could be awesome. You could be in magazines. This could have a set for life. I could do what I love, and you could do whatever you want. Dad, I want you out of the racing business for good. You got hurt that way, and I don't want to see it happen to anyone else. That's why there's training. She'll be the best racer on this side of the aisle. Dad. This could potentially be great. Come on, just take this chance. Okay. I guess I don't want to pass it up. I'll see you later, Miss Flop. Is this Mr. Scoots? Yes, and who is this? This is Miss Fly, the teacher you spoke to earlier. Oh, yes, of course. Have you considered my offer? Yes, I have, but I have some mixed thoughts about it. I really need more info on what I'm signing up for. Okay. How about you swing by my office sometime? Uh, sounds good. I can be by later. Miss Fly, did I ever tell you the reason that I got out of racing? No, you didn't. I was in a wreck. Um, 
this by another racer, uh, Hoover. He, he wrecked me and the car was totaled and I could never get it fixed, so I couldn't race. Wow, maybe someday I could beat him. Oh, trust me. With your potential, I'm counting on it. Hmm. All right, thanks. Well, I need to go. I'll see you later. All right, goodbye. Hello, Scoots. Miss Fly, how are you? Good, good. I've been thinking about your office. Sounds interesting. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, I might be interested. How much you pay? A lot. Hmm. Racing. What's that? Speed. And lots of it. The feeling you get when you're racing around the track is like nothing you've ever felt before. Like a mole in the ground or a bird in the sky. It's amazing. Ooh. I'll take your word for it. I mean... Oh, wow! Thank you! That... Thank you, Miss Fly. To race, we'll need to upgrade that scooter of yours. It's fast, but it needs to be faster. I understand. What are we talking about? Well, to upgrade the scooter, we'll need a battery with high enough voltage. And we're talking high voltage, and uh, we'll also need to upgrade the motor to take the voltage without any problem. Mm, I understand. Uh, so, uh, how do we do that? Well, upgrading the motor will be easy. We can do that with parts around the shop. The, uh, the battery will be the tricky part. I only know of one battery with high enough voltage to run the scooter, and uh, unfortunately, my rival Hoover has it. So, uh, you saying stealing or something? That's what I was thinking. The battery. You sure, Hogan? It'll be dangerous. Totally sure. Uh, I'm gonna need someone to go with that. Okay, I can send Maxine with you if that works. That works just fine. I'll get it and come back. Good luck, Hogan, and be careful. We're gonna have to get past these guards. Okay, um, I'll distract them, okay? And you just go get it. Okay, but make sure we don't get caught. Got it. We got the battery! That's awesome! Man, we might even win this thing. I know, right? With this upgrade, they don't stand a chance. Well, we gotta install it first. That's where I come in. I'll install them in a bit. You need some help with that? If you don't mind, yes. All right. Miss Fly, you there? Yes, I am. What's up? Hogan and Maxine got the battery. We're installing it right now. Wow, that's great. So I can come race now? Not yet. I need to train you first. Alright, could I come now to get started? Well, we haven't finished installing it yet. Oh, uh, actually, we just finished. It runs really well. All right, great. Come on over, we'll get started. All right, I'm on my way, bye. See ya. All right, Miss Fly, if you're gonna beat Hooper, you need to learn the basics. Oh, come on, Scoots, I could beat Hooper right now. It's true, your scooter is fast, but it needs to be faster. Well, what's the training going to look like? The training will be difficult, but you can handle it. Well, 
Let's get to it then. Welcome to the 2017 Madison 500 Qualifiers. I'm your head spokesperson, Linnea Driver. This year's lineup is shaping up to be a good one. We got... Wait. Is that a scooter? That right there is Rebecca Fly. She's been blowing up all over social media with a quarter of a million followers on Twitter. This is the first person to ever enter the circuit with a scooter. Well, I'd say any scooter would have a rough time against these guys. It'd be a wonder if she makes first. Of course, for you viewers who aren't aware, a person who places first in the qualifiers gets an automatic spot in the finals. It'd be a heck of a sight to see a scooter get in the finals. Looks like the race is about to begin. I'm seeing here. This is history in the making. Congratulations, Miss Fly. I know, I'm amazing. What are you going to do now? Well, since I won first place, I get a guaranteed spot in the finals. That's awesome. Do you think you're going to win? With Scoots training me, of course I will be. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Scoots worries me. I mean, why would he want to train you? Well, that's easy because I'm amazing. Well, I don't think that's it. While you are pretty cool, I think Scoots is training you for other reasons. Well, what are the reasons? I think he might want to take all the prize money. Well, I've already promised him a portion of the winnings. How much? Well, he said it depends on how much I won. And then he let me know how much he wanted. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he could just say he wants all of it and you'd be left with nothing. I still have to trust me. Miss Fly, you have to stop training for the Scoots. Maxine, you're starting to sound ridiculous. I'm training with Scoots, no matter what you say. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. A young girl was just hit outside of Madison Academic High School. She appeared to be just leaving the building before she was hit by a car. Her identity is still unconfirmed. Listen to me. I'm fine. You're fine. You're fine. When you stormed out last night, I had a thought. You've always been compulsive, and that's always served you well. You're my favorite student. You know that, right? 
for always happy. Ma'am, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave now. Miss Rowley, thank you. For what? Get out. It would be so easy. We could just take her money and go. She would never find out. Are you kidding me? This isn't even like you, Dad. We're not doing this. Look, I know what I want to do. I know what we need to do. We've let this go on for too long. I don't even know you anymore. Hello? Uh, is this Miss Fly? Yes, who is this? Uh, this is Hogan. I have a confession. Um, that Scoots plans to keep all of my prize money for himself? Yeah, how'd you know? I overheard your conversation. Did you really think it would be that easy? Look, Miss Fly, I don't know what my dad said or why he said it. That's not like him, and it's certainly not like me. What are you saying? I want to help you win the race. No scoots. Just me giving you a few last minute pointers. How do I know I can trust you? I'm not asking for any money. I just want to make things right. You can keep everything, including the trophy. I still have the trophy. All right, I'll do it. But don't try to pull anything. I won't, I swear. Uh, when is the race? Tomorrow. Oh, wow. Um, all right. I'll head over there in a little bit so we can get started. All right, see you then. All right, bye. I won't be as good of a trainer as Scoots, but I'll try my best. Don't talk about him. He doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is winning the race. I agree. Now, Scoots taught you the racing aspect, but do you know strategy? No, all we did was a lot of conditioning. You can outrace Hoover all you want, but when you learn to outsmart him, that's when it gets fun. I see. Show me the strategy. The race is tomorrow. All right. Okay. Let's get started. Everything up to this point is pretty important. But you don't get this in the dark. You start right here. Everyone's gonna be lucky. When they say go, you go. And so it teams uh, constantly. Every lap is later than And if you ever get confused, just turn it. Welcome to this 2017 Madison 500. Man, this season was crazy, especially with rookie Rebecca Fly coming in first. Man, what a race that was. As fast as she is, however, it takes more than speed to win against a standing four-year champion, Hoover. He's got what might be the deciding factor between winning or losing. Win or loss, however, this will without a doubt be an amazing day in racing history.
goodness. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Um, I, I've seen all of your movies and I love them all, but my favorite was the third one. Ever since I started racing, I wondered what it would be like to race you to see who would win. Do you mind? I don't mean to be rude here, but you probably go zero to 60 in like, what, 3.5 years? You know what, old timer? That's a wonderful idea. Let's race.